News Corp cut its Fox broadcast signal to Cablevision System Corporation's 3 million customers in New York and Philadelphia after the two sides failed to agree on fees for programs such as American Idol and Spokesmen for both companies said that they have returned to the negotiating table in New York today. Cablevision has declared an impasse in the talks last night. Fox said the blackouts affects WNYW Channel 5 and WWOR 9 in New York, WTXF 9 in Philadelphia, Fox Business, Nat Geo Wild, and Fox Deportes. Cablevision customers will lose access to the New York Giants versus Detroit Lions football game tomorrow and baseball playoffs if a settlement isn't reached. News Corp urged Cablevision customers to switch to another pay TV provider. Cable Vision said in a statement that Fox failed to negotiate in good faith and called the decision to remove the programming, a black eye for American television in America. Broadcasters like Fox are trying to extract fees for, from pay TV operators for signals that were once free. Pay TV operators are resisting the charges which are typically passed to the customer, arguing the channels are free over the public airways and on the web. The dispute between Cablevision and News Corp doesn't affect Fox News, FX, and local sports channels. I remain hopeful that these two companies will do what is in their, the best interest of consumers and find a quick to resolve their differences. U.S. FCC Chairman Julius Ginachawi said this in a statement. Cablevision based in Beth Page, New York, said News Corp wants more than $150 million a year in so-called retransmission fees for the Fox stations and some cable channels. Up to $70 million a year it already pays the media company. Fox says it wants fair compensation. Fox is laser fo focused on capturing significant re retrans dollars and we see no reason why they would give in rich greenfield an, an analyst at BTIGLLC said in an October 15 note, The fact that Fox holds the rights to air local sports pro programming like the Giants and New York Yankees games gives them leverage over Cablevision, he said. This year's squabbles between channel owners and distributor owners fee have led to the most TV blackouts in at least a decade. In March, Cablevision subscribers lost access to Walt Disney Company's ABC network and the start of the annual Oscars telecast before a deal was struck. The cable operator also lost the Food Network and HDTV for about two weeks before a deal was made and the channels restored. Cablevision on October 14th said it would accept binding attribution with Fox that would allow them to continue the negotiations without the threat of a blackout. U.S. Represent, US Representative Steve Israel, a New York Democrat, and Peter King, a New York Republican, sought the commitment in a letter to both companies. Senator John Kerry, chairman of the subcommittee overseeing communications technology in the Internet, said he plans to introduce legislation keeping such such disputes from taking channels off the air until the FCC is able to decide on the need for arbitration. This is the best way to empower consumers, increasing transparency and preserve the free market, Kerry said in an email statement. Fox in a statement rejected that approach saying arbitration would reward, reward cable vision for refusing to negotiate fairly and would ensure that more unnecessary disputes arise in the future. Fox said direct negotiations was the only way to resolve the issue. Cablevision called on News Corp again today to submit the dispute to a third party. We demand that News Corp put the viewers ahead of its own greed and in mailier restore these channels to our consumers and agree to binding arbitration to reach a fair agreement. Charles Schuler, a spokesperson for Cablevision, said in today's statement. 
Separately, Dish News Corp. based in Inglewood, Colorado, is battling with News Corp. over costs to carry Fox Regional Sports Networks and two cable channels. Those networks went dark on the satellite's operator's system on October 1 and will remain off while the two parties negotiate. The dispute may intensify later this month when Dish contracts to carry the Fox Broadcast Network, the home of the Simpsons, expires. Ginachowski said at a news conference on October 14th, the commission continues to be concerned about the potential efforts. These battles have on consumers and that the FCC wants greater information and notice to consumers as these negotiations affect subscribers' viewing options. The FCC had urged Fox to extend the deadline until October 19th and invited both to Washington and for arbitration with a third party. News Corp, controlled by Chairman and CEO Rupert Murdoch, gained sent to $14.19 yesterday in Nasdaq stock market trading. Class A shares of the New York-based company have increased 3.6% in 2010. Cablevision, controlled by the Dolan family, advanced $0.14 cents to $26.66 and has risen 25% this year. News Corp was in a similar dispute with Time Warner Cable Incorporated, the nation's second largest cable operator late last year. News Corp sought $1 a month per subscriber for its Fox stations. People familiar with the matter said at the time. The two sides reached a deal without any channels being pulled in a multi-year contract that climbs to $0.75 cents a subscriber, Greenfield said. David Joyce, an analyst at Miller Tobacco and Company New York estimates News Corp is seeking $62.6 million a year from Cablevision for its Fox broadcast channels. The media company is also seeking $18.4 million a year for Fox Business, $14.7 million for Nat Geo Wild, and $2.3 million for Fox Deportes. Joyce wrote in an October 13th report.